the gospel text of today begins with the words through towns and villages he went teaching making his way to Jerusalem the major part of God of Luke is a portrayal of the journey Jesus from Galilee to Jerusalem a man asked Jesus this crucial question sure will there be only a few to be served it's very similar to the question asked by many catholics today in their salvation outside the church the question reflected the belief of many children in jesus Christ. they alone were god's chosen people for them that means on one hand, that Centauro and unbelievers people who did not observe the law of Moses were outcast to be decided by God forever. The salvation of God's people, however, was virtually guaranteed, provided they kept the law. But Jesus didn't choose to answer questions directly. Instead, he took this simple question and used it to teach his followers about salvation. He invited us to be ready for surprise. But one thing is important. Be ready to enter through the narrow door. The narrowness of the door is stressed to spread in reality. That is not made for crowds. Salvation is a personal and individual endeavor. Having one accepted Jesus' invitation, each one had to live by his teachings every moment of every day. Those who do not remain faithful to him will be led outside. We trust that salvation is for all. Salvation is a gift from God which must be willingly and fully and blessed. But that involves the hard work of collaborating with the grace of God day, grace of God day in and day out, until the last day of our lives. This cannot be taken for granted. It is the task and the mission. The first reading up to today from the book of prophet Isaiah presents us with the teaching that the salvation of God is extended to all the nations of the earth and it is our task to proclaim his glory among nations inviting on to the kingdom of God the important question is how can we enter into the kingdom how can we enter into the kingdom? Are we ready to accept God's kingdom in our life? The God of today simply invites us to welcome the kingdom of God like a little child. To enter to the narrow door, we have no make ourselves like little children. Let us be challenged by the work of God today and be transcended by the Eucharist to be able to enter through the narrow door so that we have life, eternal life. Amen. Let us stand up to profess our faith.